Passport to Success started about two and a half to three years ago out of uh, a recognition that a number of young people were having challenges entering the workforce, whether it may be some lack of some basic skills or young people who have not yet mastered the, the basic work ethic, showing up on time, calling, how to do a proper resume, how to communicate with, with uh, an authority or with a pair. And so the, the feedback came from the private sector, the government looked at it, and as a result, this program was born out of an idea to empower young people to get into the workforce, develop some skills where they can do absolutely well. I believe the uh, program is very important to the young people that uh, participate uh, because it allows them to develop the, the skills, the confidence, dealing with some emotional and possibly behavioral issues that they didn't have an opportunity to deal with while in the mainstream high school experience. So instead of um, writing these young people off, it allows them to have a second chance or an additional opportunity to develop themselves as persons. And as we know, people develop at different stages and it does allow the particular uh, participants to not only learn the work readiness type skills and develop the sense of work ethic that's needed, but it also gives them an opportunity to deal with some of the more soft skills that may not necessarily have been dealt with through the formal curriculum in high school. So I think it's an excellent program and I'm very happy as Minister of Education to be supporting this program going forward. Well, my social worker, she suggested that I should apply for Passport to Success because um, what Passport to Success do is open a door, an opportunity for you to go in the working field and what Passport to Success teaches you to do is how to dress, how to make yourself look decent and how to talk proper and how to communicate with the manager or whoever you are communicating with and how to have a healthy attitude in the work environment. I find this very helpful and it teaches you new skills that you never learnt before. It teaches you how to interact with different people, how to speak to them. And um, I would recommend this to a friend because it's a real good program. It teaches you how to manage your time. At the moment we're currently learning how to interact inside and outside the workforce. The proper etiquettes which you conduct inside workforce, basic resumes, cover letters. Before I came here, I never knew how to make a resume or a cover letter, but this teaches you all those stuff, so. Basically, like, if you don't have a job, I think this would be the best thing for you to develop your work field skills. And um, even you as a person, it helps you to change, like, your personality and stuff to be a better in the work field. So when you look at the, the framework that is involved in developing this program, you have the government arm and many things come together as a result. You also have a private entity which is the Wellness Centre. We are delivering the program. Outside of that, the public and private sector plays a very important role. Every one of our participants will be placed in an internship, which means they will write to these companies and we are very thankful for that. Webster's, for example, provides transportation every single day for field trips and so on and so forth. So there, there's that element as well. They, they also end up doing community service, which is, again, giving back to the community. So there are various entities that really come together to form this program. And we are very much grateful for those who have been our partners. We are here at ICCI. We use their facilities on, on, a, on a daily basis. So it's many elements coming together to create something that, that has been successful and very, very useful for the society. And I'd also like to thank uh, the corporate sponsors and the corporate participation that we've had through the years and our main sponsors being Webster's Tours for providing transportation to and from the program for the participants as well as Butterfield Bank for um, helping with the administration of the accounts for the participants. But also to mention that we've had and we have currently over 110 businesses that have been participating in the program in some fashion, either through offering work placements, internships, uh, conducting interviews and helping the participants acclimatize themselves to the world of work. And uh, also, most importantly, I'd like to thank the Wellness Centre for facilitating this process in which our young people are actually benefiting um, year over year.